NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang said on Tuesday that the artificial intelligence giant has won a major contract with the federal government. Today, we're announcing that the Department of Energy is partnering with NVIDIA to build seven new AI supercomputers to advance our nation's science. He discussed the agreement during a keynote address at a company event in Washington, D.C. The supercomputers will in part help the United States maintain and develop its nuclear weapons arsenal. They will also be used to research alternative energy sources such as nuclear fusion. Huang also said the company has $500 billion in bookings for its Blackwell and Rubin chips over the next five quarters. I think we're probably the first technology company in history to have visibility into half a trillion dollars of cumulative Blackwell and early ramps of Rubin through 2026. And as you know, 2025 is not over yet and 2026 hasn't started. This is how much business is on the books. NVIDIA is striking deals around the world while also navigating a U.S.-China trade war that could determine which country's technology is most used around the world. Huang said NVIDIA has not yet sought licenses from the U.S. government to ship its Blackwell AI processors to China. We made it very clear that they don't want NVIDIA to be there right now. And for whatever reasons, um, uh, I hope that will change in the future because I think China is a very important market. NVIDIA, though, has remained in the good graces of U.S. President Donald Trump by manufacturing some of its products in the U.S. again. And Trump said the two leaders will meet this week. We're speeding construction of AI infrastructure, bringing production of the uh, critical chips and semiconductors back on shore. And I want to congratulate Jensen because he's been really amazing. He's an amazing guy, brilliant guy. I'm seeing him tomorrow. The meeting comes one day before Trump meets with Chinese President Xi Jinping to discuss the economic relationship between the two countries.